During the Ice Age, when icy plains stretched from Europe to the Americas, to apex predators ruled the ancient steppe, the American lion Panthera atrox and the cave lion Panthera spelia. They were true kings of the prehistoric world larger, more powerful, and in some cases even more fearsome than modern African lions. Though they shared a common ancestry and were both top-tier hunters, these two species differed significantly in size, behavior, habitat, evolution, and the paths that led them to extinction. In this video, we'll explore and compare these two legendary prehistoric lions from their physical traits to hunting strategies to answer the ultimate question, which one was truly the apex predator of the Ice Age? 1. The American Lion Panthera atrox, the giant of the Ice Age plains. Roaming the vast grasslands and open woodlands of North America between 130,000 and 13,000 years ago, the American lion was nothing short of a prehistoric titan. In fact, it holds the title of the largest cat species to have ever walked the earth males, could weigh up to 1,150 pounds 520 kilograms and stretch over to 0.5 meters long, excluding the tail. To put that into perspective, that's nearly 25% larger than today's African lions. Imagine a lion the size of a small horse built for power and speed. There's strong evidence suggesting that Panthera atrox may have hunted in coordinated groups, much like modern lions. Fossils found in clusters especially at places like the La Brea Tar Pits hint at social behavior and pack hunting. This would have made them even more formidable, capable of taking down massive Ice Age herbivores like mammoths, bison, and wild horses. Picture a pride of these giant cats working together to isolate a young mammoth it's both terrifying and awe-inspiring. As a wildlife biologist, I find this idea especially fascinating. Group hunting among such large cats would have required a high level of intelligence and cooperation traits we usually don't associate with prehistoric animals. Tragically, this apex predator vanished around 13,000 years ago. The reasons, as with many Pleistocene extinctions, appear to be a lethal combination of climate change and human interference. As the earth warmed and Ice Age megafauna declined largely due to overhunting by early humans the American lion's primary food sources disappeared. With their ecological niche collapsing, even a predator this mighty couldn't survive. In many ways, Panthera atrox represents both the pinnacle and the fragility of Ice Age ecosystems and evolutionary masterpiece and done not by weakness, but by changes to rapid and to severe to Altron. 2. The cave lion Panthera spelia, P. fossilis, the enigmatic predator of the Ice Age steppes. The cave lion was one of the most iconic predators of the Pleistocene epoch, prowling the cold steppe tundras and forests of Eurasia and even parts of North America between 500,000 and 13,000 years ago. Often depicted in ancient cave art, these great cats have captivated both scientists and storytellers for centuries. There's still ongoing debate among paleontologists about how many distinct species or subspecies existed. The earlier form, Panthera fossilis, was notably larger and may have rivaled the American lion in size. Later on, the more commonly referenced Panthera spelia appeared somewhat smaller though still an imposing animal by today's standards. What makes the cave lion so fascinating is the mystery surrounding its social behavior. Some fossil records and genetic analyzes suggest they may have been solitary hunters, more akin to tigers. Others point to group hunting, especially when considering prehistoric cave paintings that show multiple lions together, often in dynamic, coordinated poses. Personally, I find this ambiguity thrilling it reminds us just how much we still have to learn about the natural history of our planet. These lions were clearly formidable predators. They likely targeted vulnerable Ice Age prey, such as juvenile mammoths, wild horses, boar, and even bear cubs. In ecosystems dominated by giants, only an apex predator of exceptional strength and strategy could thrive and the cave lion was exactly that. Yet, like many megafauna, cave lions vanished around 13,000 years ago. Their extinction likely stemmed from a combination of climate change, as the planet grew colder and drier, and increasing pressure from early humans, who may have competed with them for prey. As the large herbivores they depended on began to disappear, so did these majestic predators. From a conservationist standpoint, the fate of the cave lion is a powerful lesson. Even the strongest animals are vulnerable when their ecosystems collapse. And today, as we face similar threats due to human impact and rapid climate change, 
the story of the cave lion feels more relevant than ever. Comparing the giants, the American lion versus the cave lion. When we talk about Ice Age apex predators, few rival the grandeur of the American lion Panthera atrox and the cave lion Panthera spelea and P. fossilis. Both were closely related to modern lions, yet each followed a distinct evolutionary path shaped by the unique challenges of their environments. Their differences in size, habitat, anatomy, and behavior paint a vivid picture of prehistoric survival and extinction. Size and physical power, in terms of sheer size, the American lion was a titan. With males reaching lengths of up to 2.5 meters excluding the tail and weights over 1,100 pounds 520 kilograms, it holds the title of largest cat ever known to science. These lions likely dominated the North American plains with unrivaled power. The cave lion, especially the earlier Panthera fossilis, was nearly as large possibly equal in size but later forms like P. spelia evolved to be smaller, averaging just 150 to 200 pounds about 70 to 90 kilograms. This dramatic size reduction may have been a survival strategy, as prey became scarcer during the later Ice Age. Personally, I see this as a classic case of nature's trade-off. Being large can make you dominant, but being smaller can make you more adaptable. Habitat and range. The American lion roamed widely across what is now the United States and parts of Central America, favoring open plains and grasslands teeming with Ice Age herbivores like mammoths and bison. In contrast, the cave lion thrived in the colder expanses of Eurasia, from Spain to Siberia. Fossil evidence even suggests they crossed the Bering Land Bridge into Alaska possibly making them the ancestors of Panthera atrox. These cats were well suited to frigid climates, likely hunting on open steppe landscapes alongside woolly rhinoceroses and reindeer. Morphological differences. Both species shared many features with modern lions such as powerful jaws and sharp canines but the American lion was more robustly built, perhaps favoring short bursts of power over agility. Its shoulder height reached over 1.2 meters, giving it a commanding presence. Cave lions, particularly the later forms, were more slender and long-limbed, an adaptation possibly tied to more active or cold environment hunting. It's a stark reminder that even within the same genus, evolution can branch in surprising ways depending on the environment. Social behavior and hunting strategy, this is where the mystery deepens. Fossils from the La Brea tar pits in California suggest that American lions may have hunted in groups, similar to today's African lions. Multiple individuals trapped together imply coordinated pack behavior, likely essential for taking down massive prey like mammoths or giant ground sloths. Cave lions are more ambiguous. Genetic studies link them closer to tigers which are solitary by nature yet Paleolithic cave art often depicts them in groups, sometimes surrounding prey. My take? They may have shown flexible social behavior, adapting between solitude and cooperation depending on prey availability and seasonal changes. Extinction, a shared fate. Both lions disappeared around 13,000 years ago, likely due to a deadly cocktail of climate change and human expansion. As Earth warmed, Ice Age ecosystems collapsed. Megafaunal prey dwindled, and the arrival of skilled human hunters only accelerated this decline. When the great herbivores vanished, so did the predators who depended on them. To me, the extinction of these lions is more than a scientific curiosity, it's a warning. Even apex predators can fall when ecosystems shift rapidly. Their story is a stark reminder of the delicate balance between climate, species, and survival. Were they dangerous to humans? Absolutely, both the American lion and the cave lion would have been extremely dangerous to prehistoric humans, particularly those living during the late Pleistocene. Imagine encountering a 500-kilogram predator, equipped with massive jaws and razor-sharp claws, capable of bringing down mammoths and bison. Early humans were not their primary prey, but humans were definitely on the menu if the opportunity arose especially if the lions were hungry, injured, or defending their territory. Evidence from archaeological sites, including cave paintings and hunting tools, suggests that humans and these lions were well aware of each other and probably feared each other. In fact, some cave art from France depicts humans in direct conflict with cave lions, while other scenes may even show them being worshipped or respected as powerful spirits, possibly due to the threat they posed. While American lions may have lived in more open areas, cave lions often used actual caves for shelter the same caves early humans sought out. 
That overlap alone would have led to frequent and dangerous encounters. From a modern perspective, both species would be considered extremely high-risk predators if they were alive today on par with or even more dangerous than today's African lions or Siberian tigers. Their size, speed, and intelligence would make them nearly impossible to survive against without advanced tools or teamwork. In my opinion, these lions helped shape early human behavior. They may have forced humans to live in groups, develop better weapons, and build fires not just to cook food, but to keep the darkness at bay. In that sense, these apex predators didn't just haunt the wilderness they helped shape human evolution. Could they have been domesticated as pets? While the idea of having a prehistoric lion as a pet might sound intriguing, the reality is far more complex and dangerous. American lions Panthera atrox and cave lions Panthera spelea were wild, apex predators and even today's big cats like lions, tigers, and leopards are not suited for domestication. 1. Size and Strength First and foremost, both the American lion and cave lion were much larger and stronger than modern lions. The American lion, at its peak, weighed over 1,100 pounds 500 kilograms, around 25% larger than today's African lion. The cave lion was no slouch either, with some individuals reaching the size of modern-day tigers. They were built for hunting massive prey, like mammoths and giant ground sloths. These animals didn't have the temperament of your typical house cat. They were hunters, capable of overwhelming humans with a single swipe of their paw. The sheer physical power of these predators would make them a dangerous and uncontrollable force, far beyond the scope of any domestication efforts. 2. Behavioral Traits Unlike the domesticated animals we are familiar with, these big cats were wild to the core. The domestication of animals like dogs, horses, and even modern cats took thousands of years and was driven by specific traits, sociability, tolerance for human presence, and a level of predictability in behavior. The American lion and cave lion were solitary hunters and highly territorial. While some might argue that certain lions like those in Africa can live in groups, these prehistoric species are thought to have had more solitary or loosely social behaviors closer to that of a tiger. This means they wouldn't have been inclined to form a bond with humans like domesticated animals do. 3. Diet and Care Even if humans could somehow tame a wild lion, the amount of food required to keep them alive would be massive. These lions would have needed large quantities of fresh meat, ideally several times a week. In the wild, their diet would have consisted of large herbivores, from bison to mammoths. A pet lion wouldn't just be a companion, but an insatiable meat-eater that would consume more resources than a typical household could provide. And let's not forget about the space. Lions require vast territories to roam and hunt in the wild, and even if they were contained, their need for space and natural behaviors would make them incredibly hard to keep in a controlled environment. 4. Human Safety Concerns Despite all the appeal of having a powerful, majestic creature by your side, the danger posed by these ancient lions would be far too great. Domesticated animals like dogs and cats have a long history of evolving alongside humans, but a prehistoric lion would have seen humans as either competition or potential prey. Even the tamest lions today can turn aggressive if they feel threatened or hungry. With these ancient lions, the risk of harm would be much higher. In short, Trying to domesticate them would have likely been unthinkable and impractical. Diet in the wild, what did these ancient lions eat? In their natural environments, both the American lion Panthera atrox and cave lion Panthera spelea were formidable apex predators, with diets that revolved around large herbivores. Their hunting abilities and physical power allowed them to take down some of the biggest creatures that ever roamed the earth. Let's take a closer look at what these ancient cats likely hunted to survive. 1. Large herbivores, their primary prey. Both lions would have relied on large plant-eating mammals that were abundant during the Pleistocene epoch. The American lion primarily hunted mammoths, giant ground sloths, and bison, as well as horses and camels that roamed North America at the time. Mammoths, in particular, were a significant source of food, providing huge amounts of meat and fat. The American lion's massive size and strength allowed it to take down such enormous prey, often in packs, similar to modern-day lion prides that hunt large antelope in Africa. The cave lion, on the other hand, had a similar diet, but it also hunted animals like wild horses, mammoth calves, bison, 
and even reindeer. These lions were widespread across Eurasia, and their diet likely varied depending on the region. In the colder climates of Europe, cave lions would have hunted animals like woolly rhinoceroses and musk oxen, which were abundant in the icy tundra. Their ability to adapt to different environments would have made them highly skilled hunters of any large herbivore available. 2. The Role of Cooperation in Hunting While both lions were capable of hunting alone, there is evidence to suggest that, like modern lions, they may have occasionally hunted in groups to take down larger prey. Fossils found in places like La Brea Tar Pits for the American lion show signs of group interactions, suggesting a more social hunting behavior similar to modern lion prides. In contrast, the cave lion's behavior is still debated. Some researchers believe that they were more solitary hunters like tigers, although ancient cave art depicts them in groups, leading to ongoing debate about their social structure. 3. Scavenging and Opportunistic Feeding While the American lion and cave lion were both skilled hunters, they were also opportunistic feeders. Like many large carnivores, they would have scavenged carcasses left behind by other predators, especially during harsh seasons when hunting could be more difficult. The American lion, for example, might have fed on scavenged mammoth carcasses during the winter months when fresh kills were scarcer. Similarly, the cave lion might have taken advantage of prey kills made by other predators or found easier food sources, such as young and vulnerable animals that were easier to overpower. Their large jaws and teeth would have been perfect for crushing bones and accessing the nutritious marrow inside which would provide a significant source of fat and protein to sustain them during lean times. 4. Nutritional Needs Both of these giant cats would have needed a diet high in protein and fat to sustain their enormous body size. Their large prey would have provided both muscle meat and nutritious fats, which were essential for their survival, especially in cold climates. The cave lion, living in temperate and cold environments, would have especially benefited from the high fat content of woolly mammoths and other large herbivores, which helped them survive through harsh winters. In the wild, the American lion and cave lion were powerful hunters that relied on a steady supply of large herbivores for food. They played a crucial role in their ecosystems, controlling the populations of giant prey species and shaping the balance of their habitats. Their hunting strategies, whether cooperative or solitary, were finely tuned to the demands of their environment. Their massive size and hunting prowess made them not only fearsome predators but also critical parts of the prehistoric food chain. Understanding their diets helps us appreciate the remarkable role they played in shaping the landscapes of their time. Don't miss out, subscribe now, if you enjoyed learning about these amazing prehistoric creatures and want to discover more fascinating facts about the animal kingdom hit that subscribe button and join our community of wildlife enthusiasts. By subscribing, you'll get access to exclusive content on ancient beasts, modern wildlife, and much more. Plus, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos packed with amazing insights. Subscribe now and stay wild with us.